Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this short video, I'll show to you guys how you can fix the problem that you may have when you try to open CMD as administrator. There are some cases that CMD does not open as administrator, so let's try to solve this problem. So the first step that we need to do is to go at search and we type here change user account control. So we just type here change user account control settings and then it will show this settings regarding the account. So we just click over it once in order to open the settings. Now it will pop up this window. User account control helps to prevent potential harmful programs from making changes to your computer. In our case, we are going to change always notify to the last one, which is not recommended. So we are going to change this options to never notify. And we're going to give it a try if we will be able to run CMD now as administrator. This is not recommended because apps try to install software or make changes to my computer will not get notified and we can make change to Windows settings and still will not be notified for this. The best would be to stay on this option here, which is notify me only when apps try to make changes to my computer. We are going to choose this option here and we press over OK. The next thing that we may need to do is to make sure that the user which I am logged in on my PC is an administrator. I want to mention that I'm using Windows 11, but the steps are pretty much the same if you use Windows 10. You just have to search the same settings that I'm doing right now. So we go once again to search and we type here control panel. Once you see the app control panel, we click over it and then we view by category. So we click over here, view by, and we choose category. And now we click over user accounts. Then we click over user accounts once again here. And here we can see that the existing user, which I am using to log in on my computer is an administrator. In case that your user is not administrator, but it is a standard user, you will need to click over change your account type here. And now we can make the changes that we want. In case that your user is a standard user, you click over administrator and then you click over change account type. In my case, I cannot click it because it's already an administrator. You can do the same for any user that you want. You just need to click over manage another account. For, and for example, let's suppose that I want to change this user. I want to make this user an administrator. So we click over change the account type once again. And then from these two options, the first one is standard user and the second one is administrator. We click over it. And now as we can see the option change account type is active, which means that this user was a standard user and I'm going to make this user on administrator account. We click over change account type and we can see here that uh, this user is an administrator. So those are the two first steps that you need to do in order to make sure that you can run CMD as administrator. First of all, you need to make sure that your user that you are logging in is already an administrator and the steps that you need to do to change it are as I'm showing here. And the second one is to change user settings for notifying when you run an application. The third step is to open CMD and you run this command, which is S F C space slash, and then you write scan. Now, once you write this command, you click enter and then your file system will be scanned and the computer will try to fix any problem or issues that you have on your file system. Here we are beginning system scan. This process will take some time. At the end, it's recommended that you restart your computer in order to complete the scanning of your file system. And in case there are issues on your computer, this scan will solve this kind of issues. And sometimes this kind of issues can affect also CMD to open as administrator. So those are the first basic steps that you may need to do in order to fix this problem. There are some cases when your system is really corrupted and those three methods may not work. But in this case, you may need to go more deep to try to identify which is exactly the problem that your operating system is having that is not allowing you to run CMD as administrator.
That's all that I wanted to show to you guys. Thanks a lot for watching and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.